This video is going to show you how when you open up some of the files for the curriculum, how you can use them and share them. So I'm just going to go to grade four and I'm going to click on the ELA social studies. When you go into it, you'll see that you have a PDF. And as you read through it, you might be like, I want to use day one, but I'm not sure how I'm going to get this downloaded and used. You could download it to your desktop and then split it apart. But a nice extension that you can use, if you go to the Chrome Web Store, if you type in Kami and you add it to your Chrome, and you click Add Extension. You'll see this K pops up in the up by your extensions by your Google sign in. And whenever you have this open now, you can annotate with Cami. So go ahead and click on that in the middle. Once open, you are going to be able to see that if you click on the menu. You can split and merge the document. So go ahead and click on that. This is the three lines up by your initials. You might have to initially sign into Cami with your Google sign in for the first time. It's going to process the document for you. You're going to continue to the split merge. And then you're going to click next. And then right here was that day one. I can bring down what I want from the file. And if I say I just want these four pages, the pages are split as you see. And when I hit the file name, I can actually call it something such as quiz one. And I can go ahead and click export and I can send it to my Google Drive. I can select a folder for it to go into. I'll just click it on distance learning and hit select. And then I will continue. And what's nice about this is this PDF is now yours. It's in your drive and you don't have to worry about downloading it and trying to recreate it. Another thing is if you open up one of the PDF documents in the curriculum and you're thinking about putting them into Google Classroom, you're going to run into a few issues. So I'm first going to show you that I'm going to add this to my drive and I'm going to add shortcut. So now it's in my drive. I'm then going to go to my Google Classroom and go to Classwork. I'm going to go ahead and create a draft. I'm going to call it Grade 5. I'm going to try to add from my Google Drive that document that we just went ahead and brought in. When I start to go over here, it immediately comes up with this warning. It says you can only attach files you have permission to share. You'll need to make a copy. So this means that you would only let them be able to view the file and you wouldn't be able to make a copy for each student. So the best option is the Cami one where we showed you how to split and merge. If we go ahead and we try to add that one, which was called quiz one, We're going to be able to place that in there. When I go here and I hit make copy for each student, each student gets a copy and then I'll be able to assign it to my students and send it out to them. Another thing that can cause confusion and we just want to make sure that you're able to remember how to do some of these steps when you're getting your curriculum ready for your students is to go into grade four again. And this time we're going to go to math. And when we click on math, we're going to notice that we have different things within here that we can go ahead and choose and that we can use. 
Up in the corner here it says to request edit access. This is a button that you would never choose or actually hit during uh, the process. If you're thinking that you might want this actual doc to be yours and put into your drive, you can add it, but that's only going to allow you to visibly see it. You won't be able to edit on it. If you want to do any sort of editing and make it your own and maybe copy and paste and take some things out, you can go to File and make a copy. You can add it whatever you want to so that you can remember. And then it will make a copy for you. You would actually be able to take off words and add your own information in.